Hi Frank, how are you? Good, Nerida. Yourself? Good. Thank you for coming into our kitchen today. Absolute pleasure. Now, I must admit I have never in my life prepared, cooked or done anything with a rabbit other than Pat one year, <laughs> which we used to have. Right. <laughs> so, tell me about rabbit. It um, used to be something my nanny used to make, rabbit stew, yeah. and it's a bit of an old-fashioned... And I guess that's probably that's why people may have, you know, a, a bit of a dislike to rabbit because mm. they remember, you know, 20 years ago when they first ate it, you know, it was really tough and yeah. stringy. You might find a little pellet of uh, mm. shot on. But these <laughs> days, rabbit has got to be one of the best ingredients. Um, it's, I mean, it, it's nothing at all like the old rabbits. There's, the flavour is, is a lot more subtle, so okay. you get that really sort of rabbity game flavour. It's just a, you, know, you get it a little bit, but not too much. Yep. And the meat is really just succulent and beautiful. Okay. These days, actually, they're pretty easily available. Um, markets, lots of butchers will have them. Um, you can buy them whole like this. Mm -hmm. I know at the restaurant we can buy the legs and we can buy the loins separately if we like to, but but you know most likely you're going to have a whole rabbit, so you're going to need to know how to how to break it down. Can you show me? Absolutely, love to. Great, because you're making a rabbit dish next, yes. which you can see in one of our masterclasses. So off you go. Mm -hmm. How exciting! With the rabbit, there's a couple of bits we're going to take out from the inside. We don't need the the livers, okay. although. They're, they're a chef's treat. Really? In the kitchen, we fight over those for staff meal. What do you do with them? Um, just beautifully pan fried, a little bit of onion, a little bit of wine, white wine or a bit of brandy um, on toast. Everyone in the, in the kitchen Gosh. fights for those. Not to mention the kidneys as well. Definitely little chef's treats. Rabbit liver is mm. absolutely sensational. Okay. Really one of the nicest livers around. All right, excellent. Um, okay, so we've got the front legs which come off extremely easily. All you do is you run your knife along the side of it so there's one. I'm going to put all these into a bowl when they're ready. Basically, what you're doing is you're just following the bone. So, you know, as one is there side a of the hard bone in there, joining it together, there you is. Hack through? There's a spine that runs all the way along, and mm. basically, you just need to cut around the hip, okay. and you can feel the bone as you go. Right. And you do the same on the other side. Yeah. So we're just doing the same over here, just following the bone. And then all you need to do is just click out that hip bone. You can hear it. Yes. Because it's clicking out. And at this stage now, all you need to do is run your knife around. Sounds a bit like my pull it away. aerobics. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. So you've got one leg there, which is off. We don't really want the fat in this particular dish, so we'll take so that not, away. Is the fat flavoursome like it is in some of the other meats? It, yeah, it is. Um, but we want to braise this dish. And, right. and it's quite. It's it's not a really necessary part of the dish okay. in this particular case. But if you're going to use it in, say if I was making a rabbit terrine, I'd put the rabbit fat into it just to give it a bit of you know, extra. Mm. Yeah, just, you know, it makes it... Juicy, basically. Yeah, right. That makes and adds flavour. Yep. So now we need our big knife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if you've got a chopper, even better. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, big cleaver does the job, but a big cook's a knife. A Chinese will do it. chopper. Or a, just a big cook's knife, right? So um, we're just going to cut off the. It's called kind of the breast part of it. Yep. So that part here, and we're just going to cut that off with the with the knife, just using a little bit of force. Okay. So that's bone, we're not going to use that. Right. Um, top end of the neck, there's very little meat on that as well, yeah. so we're just going to chop that off. There we go. And the hip as well, we've taken the legs off it, yeah. so we don't really need it anymore. Off that goes, okay. Now, just trim up a little bit of the belly part of the rabbit. But leave a little bit on there. Because that looks like nice meat to me. It is, but um, it's actually quite tough. Oh. It'll, it'll need a lot more cooking than the rest of the uh, right. the See, loin and the leg. There's a little gem from mm. you. We, we wouldn't know this kind of thing. Exactly. So, I mean, that to me, you'll, if you cook that in the braised dish, mm. you'll end up having that a little bit tough and it won't right. be as nice. Okay. And then the, um, the actual loin, we're going to keep on yep. two loins on the same, along the same middle bone. Okay. So about an inch wide or so. There we go. And again, these parts as well. And I like to just trim it up a little bit as well. There we go. All these bits of bone and stuff, you could make a stock out of that if you liked. Mm. You could add it to the braise if you wanted to do that. But, but honestly, there's going to be so much flavour in this dish, yeah. you're not going to need anything other than water when you when you braise wow. it. Wow, gosh. Okay, so into the bowl we go. Beautiful. So it does, it's quite a, how many would this serve? This 
one probably rabbit. does four to six people really. It's great. I reckon. Yeah, it's it's quite a rich, saucy dish at the end. And what does a rabbit cost? Rabbits probably. are usually around about the eighteen, nineteen dollars a kilo. Okay. So that's sort of middle range sort of price. Yeah. And um, you know, one rabbit will be about one and a half kilos. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Actually, there's one more thing I've got to do. I've got to cut that leg up. Oh I'll yes. So I'll just quickly do that. Um, so the leg is just cut into three pieces. Yeah. Okay. Just one piece. Yeah, That's like the, the lamb now. shank. <laughs> Gets scary when you're too close to this. <laughs> um, and then the leg along the bone. Now, what about all the tiny little bones? Are they going to choke me when I? Eat this um, dish or look, do you fish this is, them out? This is the idea is that you know those you're gonna be using your hands. It's the sort of dish you get your hands into, it's a rustic dish. Dishes. So you know you will have little bones in it. Yeah. Um, and you know, and most of the pieces won't have any bone, but some will. So you just need to harden up. Exactly. Yeah, just get manly and just <laughs> Man <do it>. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Excellent. All right, now I'm gonna step out so I can watch you create your magic. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. showing me how to prepare a rabbit. Beautiful.